Automatic facial expression recognition is the ability of a machine, uh, usually a computer, to automatically recognize expressions of emotion or expressions of social signals, basically facial displays that we make, smiling, um, by a computer. So it's inherently a computer vision problem. It's inherently a problem of turning pixels from the, that are captured by a camera into symbols such as this person is smiling, this person is blinking, this person is nodding their head. That's what facial expression recognition is all about. You can speak of a general pipeline, a general processing pipeline of problems that you need to solve in order to get to that final smile detection that you can find now in most consumer cameras actually. So the first problem that you need to solve is you need to know where the face is of course. If the face is uh, not found at all then you don't even know what you're processing right. So you have to start by locating the face. Um, that's done with a process called face detection funnily enough and once you have found that there might be a problem that um, People's faces have different shapes. You may have found a very big shape uh, face. You may have found a very small face. The face m may have been tilted. So you need to go through a process called face alignment or face registration at, at which you sort of remove differences between subjects, between different people, such as identity or the size of somebody's uh, face in general. And you can remove variations that are caused within that subject because they move their head or they, they um, it's mostly mostly head pose actually and the way we do that generally is by first finding a, a number of points on the face and now we basically divide the points on the face in two types one is types of uh, one is points that do move when you express so like in my mouth corners when I smile they will go up and out uh, and then there's also facial points that do not move when you when you express or barely. So that's the your inner eye corners, your outer eye corners, your nose. I mean, if you look very carefully in our flare nostrils, you could you could see them move, but they generally don't. Uh, so you've got stable points. Those are your inner uh, eye corners, your outer eye corners, the points around your nose. And if you use those, you can remove any rotations, any scaling and positioning, of course, of the face. Once you're done with that, then comes sort of the, the real interesting computer vision problems, and that is feature extraction. So imagine you've got a 200 by 200 pixel area around the face. Each of those pixels can have 256 different values. If we're just talking about grayscale, so that's not even taking color into account, uh, that means you have a very large search space, a very large space of possible values within uh, that image. And that's too high. So classical machine learning, so this is the, 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 the part that will automatically learn uh, whether there's a smile or not, cannot deal with such an immense search space. So we need to lower that. Because that's uh, 256 times 200 times 200, right? It is. So there's two things you can do. You, first of all, you want to lower that amount uh, of variability. And also you want to only capture variations that are caused by expressions. And you want to do away with any variation that's caused by, for example, identity or illumination variation, right? So there's all kinds of different techniques. Basically, you can, you can split them into two groups. One of them is based on geometric features. And geometric features are features that are calculated uh, from facial points. Remember, we had the facial points, uh, the stable points on the nose and the eyes that did not move with expression, but the other ones, uh, they do move with expression. So my mouth corners move with expression. And for example, if you wanted to know whether I was smiling, you would just look at these two points. And if they go out and up relatively to all the other facial points, you can say that I'm smiling with some degree of certainty. And so that's a geometric facial point. And you can also look at appearance. Appearance basically means um, the type of wrinkles we have. It also includes color. Uh, so you can, if I frown, you get all kinds of wrinkles here. 
uh, that's the kind of thing you want to capture but also you could use appearance to look at the edges that are caused by my eyebrows compared to my skin of my forehead. So those are the two general approaches that you can do. And of course, if, you, if you're doing it right, you're going to use both. And that way you can get a very stable system. I can smile now, but I don't necessarily mean that I'm smiling. So I suppose that's a different kind of yeah, so if you, a different question, maybe. Well, it's, that is a different question, but you can, we've done research into automatically distinguishing fake from real smiles or post from spontaneous smiles and you can do that based on the temporal dynamics in smiles actually you can do it both on uh, temporal dynamics uh, that's the activation pattern uh, a fake smile is quick smooth and short so you get a quick uh, upward trajectory i keep it there a little bit and then it goes back to neutral a real smile has multiple intensity levels, multiple peaks. It is slower in onset, it's slower in offset. That's one telltale difference. The other telltale difference is something which is called the Duchenne smile. So you've got uh, the orbicularis oculus muscle that's around the eye. And when that contracts, uh, especially the outer ring, when that contracts, it pulls up the cheek and it creates the, 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 the crow feet at the... Uh, uh, at the eye corner. It's uh, more apparent with people who get a little bit older. Um, and that muscle, that's, uh, it's called uh, Action at 6 in the facial action coding system, is something that is normally not shown when people do a polite smile or a post smile or a fake smile. Although you can, you can teach somebody to do that. So if you want to become a, a good expert at, at, uh, at pretending to be uh, happy, or, or, or you can learn how to do that. It's harder to, 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 uh, to learn yourself to do the temporal dynamics. That's probably almost impossible.